Hey everyone, this is Maxim Bergerath from 100 Things to Do with Red Hat Management Products. Um, like I announced last week, I'm going to look into some other um, products in a Red Hat management portfolio from now on. And the first up today is Ansible and Ansible Tower. And we'll be looking at building an Ansible Tower cluster. So for those who didn't know yet, um, Ansible Tower 3.1, which was released um, early March uh, 2017, um, supports active active high availability and it's really easy to set up from the same set of playbooks you would use for a normal single node setup. It just requires you to alter um, an inventory file a little bit. Um, if you deploy Ansible Tower in, a, in an active, active, highly available fashion, you get extra job capacity. So it's easy for, it's very useful for scaling out. And it gives you redundancy in the tower infrastructure uh, for running jobs as well as for UI access. So after this short introduction, I'm going to do a demo setup of our Ansible Tower cluster on three application nodes, Tower 1, 2, and 3, that will communicate to a single database node, Tower DB. All of these nodes are going to be running Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7.3, and all of the application nodes, so that's Tower 1, 2, and 3, will be serving out the Tower UI. All of those application nodes will be available for running jobs as well, and they will communicate um, among each other over RabbitMQ. As I said earlier, installation only requires a special inventory file uh, that we distribute through the setup tarball. So let's jump into a console and uh, let's take a look at setting up an Ansible Tower cluster. So here we are on Tower 01, which will be my installation node. Um, I'm currently in the home directory of root, as you can see, and I have already downloaded the Ansible Tower setup tarball. Um, I have untarred that into Ansible Tower uh, dash setup dash one, uh, 3.1.1. And in that directory, we have an inventory underscore cluster configuration file. So if we open up that file, um, I've edited that a little bit already uh, for the purpose of this demo. Uh, you can see that I've defined three tower nodes. It's tower 01, tower 02, and tower 03, and one database node, tower DB. Um, apart from that, this is just a short configuration file. I can show the amount of line numbers. It's just uh, 26 lines in total uh, with a little bit of white space in between even. Um, I have defined some passwords. I have defined some PostgreSQL um, configuration. Um, I've defined some RabbitMQ configuration, and that's it. If I run um, the setup script with this configuration file, we get a very nice um, tower cluster. So let's start running that right now. And just because we can, I'm going to time this command so we can see how long the actual cluster configuration uh, took. I'm going to pass um, the dash i flag to the setup script to pass the right inventory file. And um, that should be it. Let's just wait until this finishes. So let me see, there we are. Um, I've obviously sped this up a little bit, um, but as you can see, it takes about, about 15 minutes, 16 and then some, um, of which a large part was used for downloading stuff over my humble internet connection and um, doing database migrations. Um, so even, even if you run everything on a single workstation host, you can set up an Ansible Tower cluster in, well, just, let's, let's just say a quarter of an hour. And um, let's take a look at the, the web interface and, and uh, see what happens there. So here we are. Uh, this is uh, the Tower 01 node. Uh, if I log into this specific node, um, the first thing Tower is going to ask me is for a license file, which I uh, downloaded earlier. So I can just click Browse, select the right license, and then click Open. I'll see that this is the name, the name of my license file, and I click Agree to End User License Agreement and click Submit. 
Uh, tower is now ready to go. And I don't think you guys can see my URL bar, but I can go to Tower02 as well. And I can log into Tower02 just as easily. Uh, still with the admin user because I don't have any other users right now, but I can view my license here. And this is the exact same license um, I entered in the Tower01 node. So configuration is done uh, through a single interface for all three nodes. And if I go to the inventories page, um, I can create inventories just as I would with a single node tower instance. I can create projects, I can create job templates, and it basically all works like a single node tower instance. Uh, the difference is that I can log into any of the three tower nodes I set up uh, in this cluster and get the exact same content in my window. So that was it for today. Um, we'll be doing some more advanced Ansible Tower topics in the future, but we wanted to start with the basics, which was uh, setting up an Ansible Tower cluster. Uh, please let us know what you think in the comments below. Um, subscribe to the channel. Um, check our blog that goes with this post at 100things.wizard.com. And we'll be seeing you in a couple of weeks when we show you some more advanced topics around Ansible Tower. Thanks for now and goodbye.